Hey guys, Adam here in the AeroWorks Workshop, and it is week number three of the CH750 Super Duty build, the Zenith Aircraft build that we are doing here in our workshop. Now, this is one of those weeks. Last week, obviously, if you saw episode four, you saw we accomplished quite a bit uh, in only one week. We got the entire rear fuselage assembled, all the skins riveted on to the uh, stiffeners, the sides put up. We don't have the top on yet. Uh, and then we got to this week and our plan was to kind of tidy up things in the rear fuselage and put the top on and get ready to prep and mate that up with the forward fuselage. Now in week one we sent out all of our steel steel parts to powder coat. So these are things like the upper uh, cage, the, uh, you know, the stick, uh, some of the control links and things like that. Uh, in anticipation that we would have those early this week put those in the rear fuselage because there's a lot of that area which we'll show you in the video that you have to actually have that uh, the mixing rod and all that installed before you start closing up the rear bench seat and a couple things that we found was that there's some discrepancies and things and that's part of home building and that kind of leads me into the topic that I want to talk about today if you are just getting into home building for the first time uh, kit home building of aircraft, there's something called the 51% rule. And this was one of those 51% weeks, definitely. Uh, again, full disclaimer, never built a kit aircraft before. I've worked in aviation, I've worked on airplanes, uh, you know, in, in assisting other people and things like that. Did it in high school. Uh, I'm not an A&P, didn't do it in the military, anything like that. But I do have experience, worked around aircraft my whole life. So I have a good knowledge of all the materials and tools. What I didn't understand was that when you buy a kit aircraft, there is still a ton that is left up to the builder. So what Zenith provides uh, from the factory when you buy a kit is they provide you with a set of plans. Each set of plans is serialized, meaning that you have a serial number to build the aircraft that you're building. Uh, you'll get that set of plans, you'll get what they call their IPL, which is their uh, list of parts basically that you follow. And it's kind of a step-by-step -step guide to each individual page on the drawing packet. So there is no order to anything, and that's one of the things that uh, I found a little weird, that thinking that you know they've built plenty, they have a demo plane, they've built, uh, you know, they've sold plenty of planes. Why isn't there like a step-by-step -step guide to how to build it? Now there is no order in the in the in the fact that you know you could build your wings first or you could build the fuselage first. I get that, and that's totally understandable. But when you're putting you know the parts down to build a fuselage there should be an order to you know bottom left right uh, run the wires run the cables and so on and there really isn't so what what happened to me this week is I got to the point where I was still waiting on the powder coated parts which hadn't showed up yet and so I started working on all the cable bushings the control bushings and one of the first things I ran into is I'm looking at the drawings and it says you know use an a6 rivet to hold on these cable fair leads and uh, you know I put one A6 rivet in and it doesn't go all the way through and it's not holding good enough so uh, you know reached out to Roger at tech support he said well maybe you can use a bolt well that's that's great I'll use a bolt I didn't know I could deviate from the plans I was trying to build it you know per the plans that's kind of the way I do things I'm going step by step I'm reviewing the plans looking at the the installation guide and then there's discrepancies there. The online photos that uh, Zenith provides, they, they give you access to a Google Drive, and they have a somebody's build, maybe it's the factory one or something else. Some of the pictures look like a regular 750, so while there are some similarities, they're not the same on the Super Duty, and, and, and give you an example, they say to, uh, you know, to rivet the, the, the uh, bushings on one side of the rear frame, and on the pictures, they're on the opposite side. They're using rivets instead of bolts, but then he says use bolts. So you're going to run into those things. And for me, that was a little difficult to kind of get through this week. Another thing you want to uh, really brush up on is the whole AN hardware uh, you know, nomenclature. And this is something that you can do before you even buy a kit. Uh, the EA has plenty of resources for kit home builders. Understand what the hardware is how many washers you can put on a nut and bolt and things like that because that was another thing that we ran into when we were uh, finishing up that top archway or the rear uh, wing mount. Uh, you know, they said to put a bolt through, we put a bolt through and, you know, we had too much of the, the uh, shoulder sticking out there and 
didn't show washers in the plans. And I, you know, I, of course I know how to use a nut and bolt, but I was trying to do it per the, per the instructions and come to find out, well, you know, you can throw up to three washers on an A and bolt. Okay, that's great. Now I know that. And that's part of the, the building process and the learning process. So we anticipate all of our powder coated parts to come in uh, on Monday. And hopefully if they do, we'll be wrapping up that whole mixing arm assembly getting the uh, armrest in the back seat, getting that finished up. This week, we kind of spent the time uh, doing some more organization. I went and uh, actually went to Aircraft Spruce and picked up some additional hardware just to have some extra nuts and bolts sitting around. Got a uh, bolt organizer, labeled everything. Again, structure, organization, laying those parts out as you're doing your inventory. These are all things that are gonna help you succeed and again, knowing that you have the support of Zenith, you have the support of other builders, uh, and hopefully other builders like myself that are producing videos, providing you with information as we go through things so that when you get to those hurdles, oh, hey, I saw it on this channel, I saw it here, and uh, you know, it helped me get through that part. So that's kind of what we're all about. So hey guys, it's a shorter video this week, not a ton done. We're gonna do, we, we will show you some you know, clips throughout the week that we did uh, this week. Again, next week, hope to be uh, back up on the horse and uh, all the powder-coated part, powder parts will be in stock. We'll get those installed, get that back end wrapped up, get the roof on, and uh, start working uh, towards mating that rear and front fuselage together. And uh, I, again, guys, glad to have you along. I hope you like and subscribe. Really, guys, it, it does help. It doesn't cost you anything. Click like and subscribe down below. Helps the channel out, helps get, get the, uh, the videos out there to more people so that we can share this love of aviation with as many people as we can. And I'm glad to have everybody along for the ride. Make sure you leave your comments down below. I'll answer all of them. Uh, and I uh, look forward to talking to you guys soon. And again, episode five is in the works and you're going to see it right now.